Zootopia 2010. Uh, thanks for coming out today. Beautiful weather. We got two great contestants. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with my bison. Homeboy was on top chef, uh, Chicago. So he's pretty important, and he's probably going to win. But wait a minute. Uh, what about uh, Sean Hargot? He's only got a Michelin star or two, and uh, he's the and he's the owner and chef at uh, at show. It's a huge gladiatorial battle between two of the best cooks you're going to see here today. So we're going to come back to all these chefs and give them a little while to crowd around and check out what they're doing. I think with bison, I work with bison actually extensively. Less is more. It's delicious, it's beautiful, I wouldn't mess with it too much. I mean, aside from maybe the very minimal like marinades of uh, lemon zest and rosemary, I wouldn't do much else with it. I'm putting the olive oil on before I put the seasonings, which is uh, granulated garlic, sea salt, black pepper. That helps create the flavor crust when I put it on the grill. So we sprinkle quite liberally, and then make sure you rub it all in. And then we're gonna put it right on the grill. I'm doing mafungo. Mafungo is fried plantains smashed down with bacon fat. Now what do you got going here, Chef? You got some shallots and you've got some scallions? Yeah, I got scallions and shallots and bison. Doesn't get much better than that. Excellent. 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 All right, what we got here is grilled bison, a little uh, caramelized scallions, some uh, summer truffle puree. Uh, and we're going to put some shaved summer truffles on it, nice and seasonal. Bison's actually a very good product to use. I'd probably prefer to eat bison rather than beef because a lot of the beef is manufactured and it's also mass produced. And once again, because this is all natural and it's also one, it's, it's also fed the right things and it's looked after and all that sort of good stuff, I think it just tastes better and it's a happy animal. So, you know, once again, compared to beef, this is definitely my preference. Nicely seasoned with olive oil, sea salt, cracked black pepper, and granulated garlic. We cooked it over the high heat to make a flavor crust and then a beautiful medium rare in the center. About 110, 115 degrees. Let it rest for 10 minutes. Sharp knife, cut very thin, and make sure that when you're slicing, you slice against the green. Bison tenderloin. There you go, bison tenderloin. That bison bite was amazing. It's like buttery, tasty, nice and rare, so still really soft in the mouth. Really, really nice. I thought it would kind of taste like regular red meat with some vegetables, but it was it was a little special. It had a little extra kick to it. Kathy Irway is the spokesman for the judges. At the end of the day, we decided to do I think it's delicious. I think it's super tender. It was like a uh, filet mignon, it was like a regular cut from the bison. Soft, tender, sweet, even. It tastes like olive oil and steak like mixed together. I have a grill and they said they're from Colorado and they send it to you and I will do so.